Hi everyone, you might remember my mum from my last video we did together. And I've brought her back today uh, with, for this hair transformation. Uh, so if you want to see how we've changed her hair colour and if you have any questions about DIY home colour, keep watching. Didn't say anything. Oh, was <laughs> I, I supposed to? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, do you like your new colour? Should I, people watch to see how it happens? I love it. Oh good. Alright, keep watching. Now I just wanted to add in a little side note. I've had so many questions about DIY home colour, so that's why I'm doing this video today. I love hairdressers, but I also think that there's aisles full of this product and so there's lots of you using it. And when I ask my hairdresser about it, he often sees mistakes, but there's a lot of people trying it. And so I want to show you the do's and don'ts. Now with my hair, um, my natural colour is quite dark and I love being blonde, so I'm not a good candidate to try it myself. But my mum has been using home colour for a long time, with salon visits in between. So she's going to help me out as my model today. And I always think when you're trying to use home colour, the best thing to do is to either match your natural colour or only go a few shades different. That's when it's going to be best for you. Now come in and check out the tutorial. When trying to do colour at home, it's really important you get the right supplies. They say there's everything in the box, but the job is so much easier if you keep walking down the aisle and purchase a mixing bowl and a brush. The most important thing is that you have to have a plastic bowl. You cannot use metal and you can't use a metal spoon either. Uh, and by having a brush as well, this allows you to help easily section the hair and apply the colour. Everything is in the box, but you'll get a much better result if you just walk down the aisle and get a few extra supplies. Okay, so the most important thing to do is always read the instructions. So you get this little booklet, they're all the same, with a bunch of tips, but make sure you read them, or get a friend who's really good at reading the instructions. Between us, we should get through this. We should. <laughs> And the best thing to do is, if you have any questions before you start, um, call the advice line. I already gave them a call, so we picked the right colour. Great. And yes, but make sure you read all the instructions and do a patch test, which we'll show you about as well. You're going to not read the instructions, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course I will. <laughs> Even if you've coloured your hair before, it's really important to do a patch test. This is where you take a little bit from the colour tube and apply it to the inside of your elbow. You want to leave it there for the same time you'd process the colour, at least half an hour. And then wipe it off and leave it a day or two to see if any reaction comes up. You don't want to be putting it over your head and then realise you're having a reaction. There's also a second test you can do, which is a strand test. This is where you take a section of hair, it's good just to take it at the back where no one can see it, and actually apply the colour and just process that strand. That way you'll know exactly what colour you're getting. Usually you're in a bit of a rush and you want to do it straight away, but if you have time, do a strand test and you know exactly how long to process the colour for. Now it's time to mix up your colour. First off, empty the colour into the bowl. Squeeze every last bit out of that tube. Then add in your developer, which is the white bottle. And the final step with the Colour Specialist range is using Omega Plex. This will help uh, rebuild the bonds in your hair while you colour, making your hair stronger. Mix it together well with the brush and then you're ready to start applying it. Okay, so make sure you protect your clothes. I'm just using an old towel. I couldn't find a cape in the shops, but if you go to a hairdresser's store, you can find a cape, which if you're doing this a lot, will make it a lot easier. And of course my handy clip comes in. Always comes in handy. It does. And for me, I'm also going to pop an apron on so that I don't get colour all over myself as well. Do I look like, a, look like I know what I'm doing? Yes, you do. <laughs> Strangely <laughs> don't be, enough. Don't be fooled. Alright, um, and then now we're just going to apply the colour um, sectioning through. So let's do that. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got all the colour mixed up now. Um, and add it in the Omega Plex as well. Um, and the good thing with having a brush like this 
is that you can use the back of it for sectioning. So, uh, and I'm going to start up here at the top, um, and then I'm going to create sections across the back here and here as well, um, and then work across. Okay, so we're almost getting there. I won't make mum. No one likes looking at herself at this point in the colour, but um, we're almost getting there. And I will tell you that the trick to using this brush is amazing because then you can just go through a little section and keep going. Now I've applied all the colour to mum's roots and I won't make her sit here with her while well, her hair looking so crazy. Sorry mum, you won't be too much longer. It's alright. <laughs> um, but you leave the ends out because she's already coloured her hair. Um, we leave it for 20 minutes and then I'm just going to run that colour through the end of her hair for the last 5 to 10 minutes and have a look at how it's going. Okay, so we've had mum's colour processing now um, and you can see the colour change and now we're going to draw it through to the ends of her hair. Um, I'm going to use the brush and I'm also going to use my hands just to work it through. There's quite a fair bit of colour. They say that you should use two boxes if you've got hair that's past um, shoulder length and I think you definitely will need an extra box in that case. And just always really remember, colour on colour will always go darker. So if you've ends of your hair have already treated, you just want to have the colour on them just for a few minutes so that you still have a little bit of lightness in the ends of your hair. And then that's it, you just want to make sure it's just all covered. work that through, make sure it's all covered. And that's only for a couple of minutes and then we're going to rinse it out. Now it's time to rinse out your hair colour. We tried doing it in the sink, it wasn't that easy. If I had done it again, I would tell mum to hop straight in the shower. And if you're at home, that's probably the easiest thing to do. You can also buy hose attachments and things like that, but it's really easy just to hop in the shower and rinse all the colour out. With the Colour Specialist range you also get a special Step 2 conditioner with Omega Plex and there's also a Step 3 that you do three weeks later at home. So this is just a really rough blow dry. So far, this is mum's hair after. Um, we've only just put a little bit of the leave-in spray and now I'm gonna use a little bit of this, the split ends treatment, but more than that, it's just going to add a little bit of definition and, so, and just look after your hair nicely. And it's really quick, you don't have to worry about where you put it, it's not gonna be sticky or anything. Just gonna keep it in place. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I feel You've done a fantastic job. I am pretty impressed actually. Mm. I think you it looks like you have twice as much hair. I've actually had to flatten it because when we blow dried it roughly, it just was enormous. And my hair was very thin, wasn't it? It looked very thin and on one side particularly. So what do you think the biggest difference is with your hair? The thickness. Yeah, mm. I think I'm it's amazing. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I just did a really rough blow dry on mum's hair. Um, and mum's hair is really coarse and has its own mind and it's styled beautifully. I hardly had to do anything. I think it's the easiest I've ever styled your hair. Yes, and it's just, it looks like I've got more, a heck of a lot more hair. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's softer. Mm. Definitely softer. Oh, good. Mm. Thank you so much for letting me do your hair today, mum. Uh, and I hope that's helped if you've been trying to do your own hair colour at home with some tips. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss my next hair video. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Come over to hairromance.com where I've got lots of tips and tutorials and I'll see you at my next video. Have fun with your hair. Bye. Bye. <laughs> now make sure you've read all the instructions. It's something I find hard to do. Hang on, I'll just start again. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. Am I supposed to smile or just look serious? <laughs> <laughs> and also get better gloves. The gloves that they give you are no good. Get these instead. Sorry mum, this is like the least flattering time. Thank you so much for being on camera. I'm sure no one wants to be on camera when their hair looks like this. So. It's all for a good cause, dear. <laughs>